The borehole importer can be found within the toolbox under your local country kit reports. You can browse for a file, in this case it's an AGS file which is an industry standard, also CSV and GEF for the Benelux area. A number of settings are available to how to deal with the file. In this case we're just going to import it and then you can zoom extents and file all the boreholes that are there. Now you see that the labels are stacked on top of each other it's because there is a number of points on top of each other because they're there in the vertical. So dragging the labels out will make it easy to see. If we look at the model from a side view again you can see how these boreholes are arranged so it's points on a vertical uh, sense so back to the top view this data is typically uh, set up with a, a surface as from a proper survey in this case all I have is the boreholes so to move on we're just going to create a simple tin surface and we'll do it from the boreholes so you can see when you do the import from the file it will also make lots of point groups for all the different material types I'm just going to choose boreholes which is the absolute top and I get a straightforward surface just change the style of the surface okay so we'll now just draw a simple alignment so we can get a profile view Okay, so there's the section line. Create a profile view as normal. Okay, and you see the surface is quite basic due to we're making a surface from boreholes. So we can go back to the importer now because we're doing this in a two stage process because of the lack of a surface. And you see, pick the file again and you can see we can now project the boreholes in a profile view and pick your profile view from the list the option here is also to limit the amount of distance from the the baseline alignment so we can put a sensible number in meters here and it reprocesses the file and displays the boreholes in section you see there's quite a lot of detail so you may want to choose to limit the labels uh, being applied so you see the full descriptions are there any hatching is available as well and this is created by using the shape styles so you're using the civil 3d shape styles if you look at one of these you can have these already in your template ready to go uh, so you can display a color or standard AutoCAD hatch patterns as normal or any descriptions that it sees separately to what's in your file it will create on its own okay. one thing to note this tool is a import only um, and it's not dynamic to the object so take note of that if you need to change anything it's best to delete the boreholes, change the scale, run the tool again, and then maybe this time also restrict the distance and change any labels. So I'll turn off the secondary description just to limit the amount of text being placed okay looks better this time also you see it's a lot clearer so 
it'll take maybe a couple of goes to look at what kind of descriptions and details to get the desired output on the drawing.